Hi everybody, I'm Bill Sanders and this is Watch Art Sci, the art and science of Watts Collection. Uh, today I had to get warm because our furnace busted. <laughs> so anyway, they just got it fixed, but it's still cold here. So anyway, bear with me. Uh, today is a very special day because uh, Marco Lang is one of my very, very favorite watchmakers and, and has this incredible amount of talent. Uh, most of his watches up to now were made with a, his company. It was called uh, Lang and Heim. And he did all of these great movements and designs and so forth. But uh, he left that and decided to start his own company uh, in his own name, uh, Marco Lang Watches. And uh, this is the first watch that he's come out with. Um, and they come in stainless steel uh, gold, uh, rose gold, and also platinum. So anyway, but it's the same watch in, in a lot of different uh, fashions. Now, uh, it's called Schweigezik, uh, and it what it means are two faces. And uh, so we're going to see what the two faces are first, and then we're going to go look at this incredible watch. Now, the, the faces... <laughs> The, the the one watch is very unique, and this little video shows you what's going on, is that the straps and lugs together come apart, and uh, they have uh, some pins that hold the lugs on, and so you simply <laughs> pull them out, flip it over, and uh, you, you essentially really have uh, two watches, but uh, we'll call them two faces. The, the movement itself, when we look at that, uh, <laughs> it's really incredible. And you can look at it in a lot of different ways. A couple things I wanted to uh, point out. First of all, uh, Marco used a lot of uh, flying bridges. Uh, the one at the, right underneath the, the skeletonized dial is the bat bridge. And opposite the crown wheel on the uh, on the left side of your screen, you'll see something that uh, is called a shock indicator. And what that is, is, is this is really an incredible innovation. And that when you bump your watch one way or the other on something, uh, I'm wearing my uh, H. Moser today, and if you bump it one way or the other, what happens is that these little... Uh, indicators uh, show where you know show where you where you bumped it, and we'll, we'll get to, uh, back to that later. Now, in looking closer at the at the dot at the uh, movement up at the top, you have a what are called a free four leg balance, and it's got an X center regulation and then a blued Breguet hairspring. This is, if you look at sort of, I guess they call them four legs, but they're like the spokes on the balance wheel. And at the tip of each one of those is where you have your, your uh, weights, your balance weights, and they can be, that's how, that's how it's adjusted. Uh, the caliber is called ML01, or Marco Lang 01, uh, three hertz, mm -mm, at 70 hours. It's got, um, dual serial linked barrels. Now, the reason that two are used is so that you have more room for other things. You have a great big barrel and sometimes you gotta have a smaller uh, balance or some of the other things. If you put two in and put them in serial, you can have a longer uh, charge. This one has 70 hours for a hand wind, which means that you can wind it about every three days after, you know, use it for three days and then wind it up again. And you can like, flip it either side. Uh, the the front side has the sort of a standard dial, two-hand dial. And then the back has the um, different hands. It has cathedral hands on the back. And so, you, you know, it whatever one you like. I I think that for everyday use, you'd want the front dial. And then for, I don't know, I would wear it probably like that all the time. Now, okay, the shock indicator is this, the little mechanism that's at the opposite end from the uh, crown wheel. 
And so when we when we look at it, this is the sort of the breakdown of it. It's it's in the movement. You have a level X and Y coordinates, and they're recorded. And and if you can see uh, some of the little elements there, that uh, there's a fork and one will, depending on how you bump your watch, it will it will tell you, and then you can reset it. I'm not sure what you do with that information, uh, but it's certainly interesting. And, of course, that would affect uh, certain aspects of your watch also. And then, of course, you can reset it back to zero. I think it's a very cool thing because you can sort of get an indication by looking at it uh, how you've been doing. Well, listen, this is, uh, I mean, like, it's one thing to come out with a new watch, but... Uh, this one has this incredibly in innovative new movement with it, and uh, you get two watches for one. I think they're 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 fairly pricey. The uh, I mean, not for a watch like this or not, but they're not cheap. They're about fifty thousand euro for the stainless steel, and then more if it's in rose gold or platinum. But uh, this watch is is really an, an amazing one, and. I'm sure that under Marco's uh, control, everything will be up to his very high standard of quality. And as usual, it has the diamond right on top of the balance shaft. So congratulations uh, to Marco's uh, new launch and uh, love to hear your uh, comments and what you think about it. And until next time, this is Bill Sanders for Watch Art Side, the art and science of Watch Collection.